Hello guys, welcome back. On this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to monitor a network share that is shared from specific machine and how to get those details like who is accessing your share, which user accessing your share, what content they are accessing and they're accessing those content for what purpose and how to get those details. Like in the network, there are many users who can access your share. So you may be unaware of that. So the user is accessing your share and you may be unaware of that, what, kind of, what content they are browsing inside your sharing. So that need to be monitored. That is why I'm going to show you how we are going to monitor remote sharings and how to get those details in our Windows machines. Let's get started. So here I have two machines, Windows 10, Windows 7. So here I have already shared this drive, so this directory, share one and it have no content at all. So let me copy some content and up and we'll let me that I put. So for example, I'm just copying some content. So I have just copied some content in this shared directory in of in Windows 10. So I'm going to access this share in Windows 7 and how to access it. You first you need to check IP address of Windows 10 machine. So for that go to CMD, type IP config, you'll get the IP of this machine. So that is 192.168.0.116. Go to Windows 7, try to ping it and check it. So whether it's communicating with this, with this machine or not. Yeah, it's working. So here, let me access the share. So go to run and type the IP of Windows 10 machine. And there you can see the share one, which I have already shared. Open it, there you can see you got the contents. He can able to view the content which already copied there in Windows 10. Now, I am, so the user who is sitting on this Windows 10, he want to monitor that the share has been accessed by how many users, how he do that. So first of all, go to CMD. There are many people there, they are using third party tools to, uh, to check these details. So they're spending a lot of money to check these details. They are spending a lot of money on the software to check these details. But they don't know that it is, yeah, we have a inbuilt feature in Windows itself to monitor it. So that's why I'm going to show you, go to CMD, just type a simple command called open files. And yeah, so I need to have administrative privileges. So go to CMD and I want to have run as administrator. So you must have administrative privileges. So yes, I got the privileges, go to here, open files. Yeah, there you can see, it's showing nicely that the user Paul Zeta uh, accessing this content. Let's like, like go to Windows 7. If I open AWS credentials, you can see I'm just opened here, go to Windows 10 and just rerun this command. There you can see exactly same, is just popping up. So we can see, you'll get everything, the accurate details. So now uh, I'm going to close this one. I'm going to open versioning. There you can see. So let I go Windows 10 and again, run the same command. There you can see it's versioning. This is how the open files are so important. You, you can able to lively monitor that uh, which user or accessing the local share of your machine over the network. 
So that is why it is a very important feature for uh, monitoring purpose and you can able to get complete details, uh, the uses that uh, those are on the network and they're accessing these things because um, that's why many organizations, they go for many softwares for this, but no need to have everything in Windows itself. So you can able to monitor who are accessing your resource and you can just kill that process via we have an ID and you can kill the process. And if you don't want that process to be there, I hope you understood this is how we monitor live monitoring and the over who are centralizedly accessing your resource and you can able to keep track of those uh, shared files which you have there. Thank you so much. I hope you understood. I catch you next video. Bye.